21 years as a journalist would think I'd be beyond this uh, zoo stuff. You know? well, this is not a bloody baby orangutan story. Jeez, I've done a few of those. We'll just be a couple more seconds, OK? Yeah. What is the hold-up? Oh, I just have to find a place to plug the lights and we have to get an extension cord after that. OK! Great. OK, set to go, mate. Um, Christine, would you like to uh, stand about this? It's quite... Um, we'll just mention it's the 10th anniversary and uh, talk a bit about the, spe the um, rare species that you've got here. It won't only take a couple of minutes, OK? Uh, where are the butterflies? They're camouflaged. Oh. Great, but uh, they'll sort of fly around and stuff, oh, yeah. won't they? Yeah, yeah sure. great. Set to go. Great. Okay, light thanks. <clears throat> Rolling. Christine, how long have you been curator here at the Butterfly? Oh, what? 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 Look at the power. The, the light. The light. The light. The light. Turn, them off. Turn the power off. The orange lace winged butterfly. Previously twenty in the world. Now two. Brian, listen. No, no, no. There's more. Well, sure. As of five o'clock yesterday, there were only four known specimens of the speckled bogong moth. As of today, formerly extinct. How are we supposed to know that moths are attracted to, to light? 